All right, let's get this cover off. Ah! It's naked! There's nothing on there! Quick! It's not wearing any undergarments! Cover it up! Hello, YouTube. Today I got here a ThinkBook T14. We're going to take this apart, clean it up if needed, and install a smart card reader on it. Just get this thing flipped over. These uh, ThinkBooks are really nice. They, this one has six, six screws, two here, one here, and three across the back. Again, before you take any electronics parts, always make sure to have your grounding strap and your anti-static mat. Oh good, this is one of the high quality cases where the screws don't back all the way out. So, you don't lose your screws. Alright, this is all pretty clean under here. But yes, the, uh, the, the screws have these like permanent washers on them so that they never back out so you can't when you turn it over shake it you can't accidentally lose your screws i really like that all right so we have on this model we have one stick of ram oh when i turned it on and checked the specs this laptop has 16 gigs of ram so that means it's 16 gig single channel so you can put another 16 gigs here and have 32 gigs of dual channel ram so that's nice we have 256 gigs of M.2 NVMe. The uh, Wi-Fi chip is right here. So this is where the 4G cellular chip would go. Looks like there are four screws for the battery. Uh, four clips right here so the battery has to go out this direction it's an incredibly thin lap battery but it's also an incredibly thin laptop all right there are three there are two screws holding this in and there's a the dummy card take that out this helps keep uh, dust from coming in through there if you don't have the smart card reader this is our smart card reader for our T14 Gen 1. Comes in a nice little anti-static bag. Labeled here, SM for smart. And this one's here, labeled MB for motherboard. This um, cable has some black electrical tape under here to insulate it from between the ribbon cable and the motherboard, so that goes there. Then there is the sticky tape here. Peel that away. So that holds this down into place. Push that down in just a second as soon as we get... tape down. It doesn't flop around inside there. Slide it in from the top above all these little... There we go. Those are all lined up. Put our four screws back in. These are the hinges right here. So this is one big, long, top-firing speaker right underneath the screen. The case just goes straight on.
while we're here. Full size Ethernet, USB A. Now we have the smart card reader here. Nothing on the back. And then USB C for power. USB C with the Ethernet adapter. USB A. Full size HDMI. Headphone jack. And a micro SD card reader. Give it a good wipe down first. A clean computer is a happy computer. Always use alcohol wipes. Don't use um, don't use water-based baby wipes. You don't want any of your uh, electronic components rusting. And the alcohol evaporates super quickly. While we're in here, C14 power button, top firing speaker. Of course, my one of my favorite features is the hardware privacy slide, the actual physical blocker for the camera. Fingerprint sensor, Intel Core i7 V Pro. And it is uh, Dolby Audio. 